Hey Dan. Let's clear out this last city here. Just head in to the door. And let's have a look around and see what we can see. Immediately we've got, oh, Koopa there with an artifact. Which uh, well, looks like a column or part of a column. We've got the uh, police officer here. Where am I? Welcome to Athens, Greece, that is. Zorba was here, but left for the Acropolis. Okay. So yes, uh, if the very uh, obvious uh, use of uh, Greek lettering on that building there wasn't enough to give it away, uh, the police officer very quickly identifies this as Athens. So let's clear away a couple of these Koopas. Oh, there's another artifact. Mm-hmm. Not entirely sure what that is. Uh, let's see if this fellow has any clue. Where am I? Beware of Greeks bearing gifts, is what they used to say. I don't believe it applies today. And how about, what is this? That brass is from the gate built in 131 AD to divide Athens from Hadrianopolis. All right, so we've got a bit of Greek history to explore here. Let's check out this first information booth. Why is Hadrian's Arch closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the brass plaque was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here is a pamphlet with more information. Missing, the brass plaque, reward $1,350. The Roman Emperor Hadrian, 117 to 138 AD, commissioned the building of the ornate arch. The arch separates the ancient city of Athens from the Roman city he built there, Hadrianopolis. The arch, made from pure white marble, was completed in 131 AD and resembles the French Arc de Triomphe. Two brass plates affixed to the arch say it all. On the west face, the inscription reads, This is Athens, the ancient city of Theseus. While on the east face, the inscription reads, This is the city of Hadrian, and not of Theseus. Alright, well, since we have it ready, I want to return the brass plaque. For whom did they name the arch and the new Roman city? That was for Hadrian. What other famous arch does this one resemble? That would be the Arc de Triomphe, which we got to see in Paris on an earlier level. Yep, there's, uh, that's certainly an arch. Very good. Let's uh, head over here and see what else we can find. Couple Koopas in a row, three and four. All right, nothing there. What do we have? Oh, there's one more up there. And the last artifact, very good. Which uh, looks like a statue of some description. Let's uh, tell you what, let's clear out these uh, Koopas. And then, mm, and then check in with this fellow here. Where am I? Let's get loose and party with the Zeus. He may be home on Olympus. I guess it's hit or myth. Ooh. What is this? A caryatid, or caryatid. It should be called a carry a roof, because that's what they do. I can't even carry a tune. All right. And what about this column here? Have anything clever to say? It's Doric. I remember that from the columns in my history book. It goes on the Parthenon. Okay, all right. And uh, let's head up and over and back down. And uh, make our way back towards the uh, other locations. And also, oh, there we go, take that, take that. Just as it happens, I'm an expert on Athens. If you have any questions, keep asking. All right, how about this column? What can you say? The hill has four buildings with columns, but at 36 feet high, this can only belong to one of them. Okay. Yep, 
Yes, definitely a very different architecture used uh, for the design of this city here for uh, Athens. Let's see, we've already cleared that one, so let's uh, head back this way. Pop down. Seem to want to put all of the uh, you know, important landmarks right next to each other. Which, you know, at, at a certain point I should go and check these city maps against their real-world counterparts. Alright, let's see, we'll just take care of you. And uh, let's just check in with this kid. What is this? 46 of those hold up the Parthenon's canopy. I hope the remaining 45 can do the job. Good point. And where am I? It's extremely easy. This nation is the southernmost country in Europe. Okay. Now, why is the Parthenon closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the Parthenon column was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Y yes, if the support structures for your building have gone missing, you should probably close to the public, but... Well. Missing. The Parthenon Column. Reward, $1,500. Bonus, $3,000. The Parthenon was built to honor Athena, goddess of Athens, who gave Greece's capital city its name, Athens. The Parthenon was erected between 447 and 438 BC by the same architects who built the Acropolis. The temple is famous for its quantity of Doric columns. There are eight columns on both ends and seventeen along each side. An enormous statue of the goddess once stood in the Parthenon's Great Hall. She was thirty-nine feet high, her hands and face made from ivory, her dress was 2,205 pounds of pure gold. Ah, that's impressive. Now let's return the Parthenon column. Which of the three types of Greek columns is best represented? Ionic, ironic, round, no, it is Doric. Very good. And the Parthenon was built to honor who exactly? Well, that would be Athena. Very good. Lovely, lovely ruins there. All right, and lastly, we'll check in with this kid one more time. What is this? Superwoman has nothing on her. Six of those hold up the Erechtheon's roof. Hmm. I might not be saying that correctly either. All right, why is the Erechtheon temple closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the Caryatid was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here is a pamphlet with more information. Missing. The Caryatid. The Caryatid. Hmm. Not sure. Reward, $1,650. The Erechtheon Temple's floor plan is very complicated. It was built to include many earlier temples that once stood on the same site. Over the centuries, the temple has been a church, a palace, a harem, and a storehouse for the Greek military. Its most famous feature is the Porch of the Caryatids, a deck supported by six columns which resemble young girls. Each caryatid stands six feet six inches high. The girls' dresses look like the columns they replace. The caryatids are copies. The originals were removed to protect them against pollution. All right, let's see if we can return the caryatid we have. Each caryatid has a lovely face, but what are they meant to replace? They are meant to replace columns. The original caryatids were removed to protect them from not thieves or vandals or the Romans, but pollution. Ah, uh, yes, it comes for us all. There they are. Very nice. Yes, Luigi's got some very good pictures of very old things today. Let's head back up to the exit. Use the Globulator. So we're gonna go head up north through Africa. Then into Europe. And all the way over to the east, and again south, to Athens, Greece. Alright. 
And that, oop, nope, come on, Yoshi. There we go. Another city secured. Very good. All right, now, as soon as we finish here, we will face off against uh, Lemmy. Iggy? Iggy, I, I think we uh, decided. All right, very good. Let's see if we can get on top of him six times here. That's one and, oh, nope. See, you know, it's not oh, the easiest. It's not the hardest, certainly, especially since you can't actually lose. Good, good. Oh, what was that, four? Oh. It's a little bit unpredictable where exactly he'll be. Mm. Oh no, that's uh, six right there. All right, perfect. We'll just let the music play out for a moment while I take a sip of water. And move on to the next section. All right, here we are in the final section of the game. And this is the, uh, it's the, uh, the levels protected by Roy Koopa. So we'll go all the way to the left and into the first door here. And it looks like they got uh, not only different architecture, but uh, different weather effects in the background there. So where am I? If you stand where the Union Jack unfurls, you're in the eighth largest city in the world. Now, I should say I do not believe that applies anymore. It may have been true at the time that this game was made, but it is uh, highly doubtful uh, that uh, the city we're in is still the eighth largest. Uh, where am I? We landed at Heathrow. The double-decker bus driver had an English accent. Yes, uh, that might give you a pretty strong indication of where we are. Certainly a lot of uh, red brick buildings here. They've gone with a very uniform color scheme. And still no artifacts yet. How about this one here? Nope. Uh, but what does the police officer have to say? Where am I? You've landed, you've landed in London in time for tea. While in England, I'm known as a female Bobby. Okay, so that does at least clear one thing up. That, uh, that police officer is a woman. Okay, I was wondering, because, you know, like, if you go into the computer, uh, the portrait there looks, uh, looks a bit more feminine, but, you know, when, uh, when you're just looking at the... Uh, you know, the character out on the street, uh, it's a little more ambiguous, but, uh, well, here we are. Why is the Tower of London closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the crown jewels were stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Missing the crown jewels. Reward, $2,400. William the Conqueror built the Tower of London for several reasons. To protect London from invasion, to oversee shipping on the Thames, and to scare his subjects. The original tower was built around 1078. It covers 18 acres on the banks of the Thames River. At various times, the tower has been a mint, a fortress, a vault, a terrible jail, and a place of execution. Famous as a showplace for England's elaborate crown jewels, the Jewel House includes the largest cut diamond in the world, 530 carats. Alright, can we finally find ourselves an artifact? Have you got one? You do not. Okay. Moving on. And how about you? No? We're running out of Koopas. That's all right. I do like to clear the cities out, even though you don't get anything extra for it. There's one. Which, uh, oh, those could very well be the crown jewels. Uh, as I was saying, even though you don't get anything extra for clearing away all the Koopas, I still like to do it. Uh, where am I? London's been the capital for 2,000 years. Although in Europe, it's an island, I hear. Mm-hmm. What is this? 
William the Conqueror didn't know he was building a jewelry box for the crown jewels. Okay. Nope, nothing there. Alright, let's go down one more level here. And we'll race back and try to catch that Koopa. Quickly, quickly. Aha, oh, good, yes. One more. Looks like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that uh, is a decent uh, representation of William Shakespeare. Might be someone else. Okay, now, if you look at the map, the roads are a little bit twisty around here, so... Uh, like this, it's uh, not entirely sure, but you have to go down in order to go left, so... Uh, oh, one last artifact here. Why is Big Ben closed today? Like the sign says, bud, Big Ben's minute hand was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here is a pamphlet with more information. Missing Big Ben's Minute Hand. Reward $1,200, bonus $2,400. Big Ben, the symbol of England, is located in the Houses of Parliament, England's Capitol Hill. It's officially called the Palace of Westminster, originally the Palace of Edward the Confessor. At the north end of Parliament is the Clock Tower, 320 feet high. The face of the tower's clock is enormous. The minute hands alone are 14 feet long. Although most people believe the clock itself is Big Ben, that distinction goes to the tower's 13-ton bell, which strikes the hour and lets London know all is well. Okay, let's see if we can return Big Ben's minute hand. Big Ben is a... Large fellow named Ben, no. It's not the clock or the tower, it is the bell inside. And the clock tower is... that's 145... no, it's not. Oh dear. Did I misread something? Hang on, let's go back into the computer. We can double check and see if it says in here... oh yes, 320 feet. Uh, oh, nope, I want to go back. So that's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, we'll see if we can manage something else in the meantime. We've got, uh, yes, something down here we can try to do. And that's what happens when you don't pay close enough attention to your reading assignment. Last Koopa, very good. And, uh, what do we have here? I think... My, oh, wait, no, not that one. Let's try that, and uh, let's see what uh, she has to say. Where am I? Prince Charles will one day be king. If you know you're in London, you know everything. Well, that's actually rather timely. He, he is king now, uh, as of rather recently. And what is this? It's Shakespeare to Westminster Abbey or bust. Mm. Fun little joke in there. Why is Westminster Abbey closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the bust of Shakespeare was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. Missing the bust of Shakespeare. Reward $1,620, bonus $0. Westminster Abbey. Edward the Confessor, a one-time ruler, ordered the building of Westminster Abbey officially known as the Collegiate College of St. Peter in Westminster, to serve as his burial place. From his death in 1066 until 1760, most British and English sovereigns were buried there, perhaps to get their money's worth. The abbey has also been the site of coronations and many royal weddings. Considered a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, the abbey has undergone many renovations. All right, let's see if we can return the bust of Shakespeare. Now, of course, they haven't established any connection between Westminster Abbey and this bust of Shakespeare, but, uh, well, we'll just move on from there. Edward the Confessor ordered the abbey built as his... Well, that was his burial place, yes. And what does Minster mean, anyways? Well, we haven't found anyone to tell us, but I do happen to know that Minster is a contraction of monastery. 
And there we are. Very good. Lovely, lovely Gothic architecture. Not, uh, not dissimilar from Notre Dame Cathedral uh, in some aspects. So let's check back in and see if we can uh, return this minute hand to Big Ben. Alright, and Big Ben is a bell, yes. And the clock tower is 320 feet high, yes. Well, I wasn't going to get that wrong again. There's Big Ben. Look, kids, Big Ben, Parliament. And we'll keep going along, uh, up one road here. And back along. And what is this? Come sundown, those crown jewels are locked in the Tower of London. Yes, very good. And why is the Tower of London closed today? No, we, we asked that already. I, I want to return the crown jewels. There we are. Who ordered the building of the Tower of London? Well, that would have been a William the Conqueror. I know who everyone else is, except for Sir Barry the Builder, who I think might be uh, made up, indeed. From the tower, you can see the Thames, uh, yes, the River Babylon, no, Baker Street, uh, probably not, Heathrow Airport, I doubt it, but no, it does sit on the banks of the Thames River, or on the bank of the Thames, not sure which part of that you, you, you pluralize, there is the Tower of London. All right, now this should be very simple for us to get into the Globulator here. And much like last time, we'll just head north through Africa, all the way across, into Europe, north, and then across the English Channel there to London. Very good. Now just back one, and down. And out we go. And there we have secured London. All right, Dan, next time we're gonna clear away two more cities and get ourselves closer to uh, facing off against Roy Koopa and then finally defeating Bowser. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.